Sekhmet. Sekhmet was the Witch of Sloth. She formally debuted in Arc 4 as a supporting character. Following her death 400 years ago, Echidna collected her soul and brought it to the sanctuary along with the other witches. Throughout Arc 4, she and the other witches helped Subaru accept himself and change his views on return by death. After the arc, her soul was transferred into a crystal and she is currently traveling with Omega. Appearance Sekhmet was described as a beautiful yet languid woman in her mid-twenties with absurdly long, unkempt, purplish red hair that went down to her toes. She was usually dressed in a sultry outfit that was primarily black and complemented her voluptuous and feminine physique rather perfectly. Her skin was described as pale, to the point one would consider it unhealthy, her face gave off an extremely debilitated and apathetic look. When Subaru first met her, he mistook her for a big ball of purplish red fur. Her actions were way more slothful, as opposed to the witch cult sin archbishop charged with the aforementioned sin. Personality True to her position as the Witch of Sloth, Sekhmet's personality could be summed up in one word, lazy, which could also be seen through her appearance. She was also lazy enough that she found breathing even once to be a pain and gave off a gloomy atmosphere. As expected from her age, Sekhmet was rather mature and even philosophical at times. She usually remained neutral in arguments, however, if she deemed someone right, she always jumped on their side and assisted them as much as she could. History Before she was born, Sekhmet's clan, the giants, expected things from her, wanting to bring back their founder known as God. However, after she was born, she disappointed them, causing them to hold her in disdain and abandon her as punishment. Many years later, upon hearing of a wild woman in the mountains, men came and captured her, taking her down to the city. While there, she gained knowledge, a way of life, and emotions. Eventually, not understanding at the time that what she felt was gratitude and obligation, she snapped the necks of the men in the place she lived in and left. Returning to her homeland, she proceeded to kill her entire clan, not understanding at the time that what she felt was hatred and a desire for revenge. She then returned back to her previous home to give the men she killed a proper burial, and once she was alone, she felt a peace of mind, which she felt happy about. Over 400 years ago, Sekhmet drove Volcanica past the Great Waterfall just so she could rest, following into a fight between the two with Sekhmet falling from the Great Waterfall while fighting, concluding into her death. Abilities Authority of Sloth, Taida no Ken no Sekhmet was able to use the Authority of Sloth. Sekhmet is seen manipulating an invisible force that allows her to hit and crush things without moving a muscle. This ability seems to be far stronger than her successor's Authority of Sloth, as apart from being completely invisible, the force seems to have a bigger radius, a vastly superior speed and a bigger area of effect. With it, Sekhmet easily managed to stop Minerva from moving at a tea party. And it even allowed her to fight against the Divine Dragon himself, despite the dragon coming out victorious. It should also be noted that though her authority's shape was never directly shown, it is somewhat safe to assume that it also takes shape of a hand like Petaldeus and Subaru's authorities of Sloth do, as the witch factor of Sloth by nature takes shape of a hand. Great power, Sekhmet is able to hold her own against the divine dragon Volcanica for a period of time. She is also capable of defeating all witches of sins with the exception of Satella, by herself in a single minute according to Echidna. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.